Hi Aquarius, welcome to the new bonus series. I'm gonna be taking a look at a new love interest you are dealing with and if they still hold space for their ex. I'm gonna pull three cards to start, <laughs> excuse me, clarify each card to give us some more insight and at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person of how they feel about you. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm gonna cough one second. <coughs> Excuse me. But please know that the focus is for the new love interest you are dealing with. This is why I can't, I couldn't do y'all's readings earlier. I wanted to. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the new, the new love interest that Aquarius is dealing with, do they still hold space for their ex? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Do they still hold space for their ex? <gasps> yes, they do. This person doesn't deserve you, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why, because their devotion goes towards waiting and waiting and waiting for them to get back together with their ex. We have the Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Cups. They wanna have a good time, but right now, <coughs> yeah, they don't want me to tell you this. That's what I feel like. I'm getting a drink of water, sorry. It's just so weird, because I was fine. I was doing all the readings and then all of a sudden I get to yours and it's like, I can't even get words out. That's okay. All right. So two of cups, the page of wands and the three of cups, they want to have a good time, but they're only here for the moment to have a good time because their heart is with the X still with that two of cups and the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're going to procrastinate to move things forward with you because they are waiting and waiting and waiting for the X. They're like, I'm just all about them then they don't need to date they need to they need to cut cords with the ex or just you know to move along or go back to them and and try and reconcile with them because that's what they want to do they have plans to reach out to them and see if they have a chance to be back together there's also the fact that this person when they go out have a good time, party, whatever, and drink, they end up texting the ex like, I really miss you and I still love you and you know you're my everything. They don't need to be, you know, they don't deserve you. I'm just going to make it clear um, because they feel they still have that chemistry with the ex. Like, that's the one for me and I really want them back. Well, then go back to them and leave Aquarius and other people alone because if you're not ready to date someone new, then stop wasting people's time. That's just how I see it. Let's go ahead and clarify that two of cups. So I have cancer energy twice that came out as well as uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And then I also have the Ace of Pentacles as clarification to that Two of Cups and the full card. So Aquarius, there is your energy. Um, I also have Aries energy there too, but it feels more of like the, the thought of wanting to go into, you know, situation with them. But yes, with the X, they do still want to be with them like it'll happen eventually they're moving really slow to reconcile with them so they're just like you know exploring their time right now with other people but these are not long-lived relationships aside from the ex. if the ex said hey i want you back they would be all about it <coughs> i'm sorry i don't mean to cough on here but dang they keep trying to like, no, don't tell them. Do not tell Aquarius. Well, Aquarius, you deserve much better, okay? So if the ex gave them a brand new beginning um, or commitment, they would jump all in, okay? But because it's going slow, it's the thought of, should I do it? Should I initiate this? Well, whenever they're feeling that liquid courage or whatever, that's when they end up reaching out to the ex. 
let's go ahead and clarify that page of wands we do have the queen of swords and we have the four of pentacles Ooh, see the x ones nothing to do with them they reach out and they are met with a stop texting me stop calling me that door is closed and locked forever i don't want you i need you to leave me alone and so i do have capricorn i have aquarius energy again i also have a uh, libra and gemini energy a little i just get more libra and aquarius out of that queen of swords with the way it comes off like mm -mm, no not that gemini wouldn't be that way either but this is just more like don't mess with me kind of energy of nah and that the ex wants nothing to do with them they're like i just want you to move on i want you to leave me alone that door is closed and they just keep on trying let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups they even try to reach out to their friends so they're dating but they're not giving okay so three of cups is clarified by that six of pentacles in reverse here um you know what they tell the ex they're like well i didn't even want you anyways like i miss you but i don't even want you like i've already moved on and so not true okay and while they are enjoying their time having fun with you and dating because i see an open situation here like i'm just dating having a good time they're not very giving things are not equal this person um does not really communicate well with telling you what they're looking for and it's it there's no equality there there's not okay so i have taurus as well as gemini libra aquarius energy that comes out look you deserve so much better you don't need somebody who's going to be wasting your time so aquarius the same way that this ex told them to leave them alone if this is your situation you know what to do tell them there's the door and it's locked right behind you i don't have time for people that want to hold on to to past experiences that aren't even, you know it's like why waste somebody's time so if you're looking for something serious which i get that you are or someone who's really just into you this person's into being open with uh receiving fun having fun but not being equal they're not very giving and that is not cool so let's go ahead and get some messages of how this person feels about you aquarius What kind of bogus stuff is this? Okay, some of y'all might have told this person about some situations you've gone through. I don't know if you and this person ended up trauma bonding through um, something painful. You know, maybe we talked about exes. Maybe there was something you've gone through in your life that they've experienced as well. Or you were just talking about what you've gone through. Because I know it was a distraction from your pain. That's why I'm saying, what kind of bogus stuff is this? Who's in pain? You know, because they're still holding on to their ex. They want to be with them. They don't like the fact that they keep getting rejected by them and that their ex is like, I do not want to be with you. Like, this is not going to happen. You need to let it go. Like, stop. Um, and they are using this in a way. So if there's nothing painful that you told them and you two aren't bonding through trauma of a situation, then they use this as a way of like, I know that I was just a distraction because you know, I know that you were going through something tough and so was I. No, no, no. Don't project. We don't project. They need to own up. That's exactly what they do. I want you. Yeah, they want you. But are they going to stay with you? They want you. You get what I mean? Like they want your physicalness. They want you to make them feel better. They want you to, to make them happy in the moment. But they are not ready to settle down. They are looking for a good time. Someone who wants to go out and party and... You know, it's all because their ex doesn't want them. So I know I messed every messed up everything. This is something that they're going to realize with you as they messed up everything with the ex. Um, maybe they didn't mess everything up with the ex, but the ex just doesn't want them back. And so, you know, they messed up everything with you because they can't let go of their past. They're not ready to be in a relationship. So it was my fault, but I blamed you. See, I knew it. Projection. No, 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 this, that, and the other, and it's their fault. And, you know, you are you were in pain, and so was I. And, you know, I know you were hurting, and I was hurting, and so we were just two broken people, that kind of situation. And so they blame you for their own fault. They're not ready for anything. This is very immature in energy. You know, they need to figure out what they want and just... <sighs> 
I don't know. They're not ready. They just want to explore. So we need to let each other go. Oh, okay. So after you let them go, Aquarius. <laughs> oh my goodness. After you tell them how, you know, like, what's those, what's the saying? Like the, how the cow ate the cabbage or whatever. Um, I don't know. That's just an old saying that my grandma used to tell me all the time. Like that's how the cow ate the cabbage. But when you tell them how reality is, like, I'm not interested. I'm not holding on to that. They're going to be like, yeah, we needed to let each other go anyways. You know, I figured that you got a lot going on. You have your own problems and stuff. And so do I and blah, blah, blah. They'll just, they're going to turn it around and try and project, you know, on you that it's your fault. So they don't have to own up <laughs> to the fact that they are still holding on to the ex and using you for comfort because they want you right? You deserve so much better. You don't deserve somebody that's going to treat you like this. And you just show them where the door is and keep it locked because they, this person is nothing ready for a relationship anytime soon. They still want, they want the ex back. I get that the ex does not want them because they wouldn't grow up. They keep partying. They keep hanging out with friends. They choose other people. They, they're not very equal. And they, this just feels very narcissistic. They blame others for everything and they project their problems onto others as being the reason for them having these problems. Oh, Aquarius, you deserve so much better. So if this is your situation, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.